the Badger, the Badger 100, one third horsepower in Syncinator. Standard series. If you're wondering why I'm doing another one of these videos, because I uploaded a video about it almost almost four years ago. Because this Syncinator, the Badger 100, uh, finally died out on me. I'm not sure what's what's wrong with it, but I'm going to take it out and just replace it. Probably easier. I'll demonstrate. Here's the switch for the garbage disposal. And as you can tell, nothing is going on. Not a sound. So that is why I'm doing this again. It lasted almost four years, but we use it a lot. So stick around. So first of all, let's uh, let's unplug it. It's going to be that gray wire. And by the way, this unit here does not come with does not come with the uh, the cord. So you'll probably have to reuse your existing cord. If you don't have a cord, you should probably have to buy a cord. Since I've already done this before, I know I gotta undo these and this up here and then eventually do this I'll eventually get to doing that but uh, let's do my hack all right so let's do the first hack is let's get a uh, car jack in here so it could uh, support the weight of this garbage disposal because it weighs a couple pounds so if you know this hack it's just a car jack as you can see let me try to scoot in there so you can see it's just a simple car jack sorry about that it's a car jack I just simply turn it doing this you know if you own a car you probably one of these and I do that so it could just support it because when I take it off it's kind of heavy and you're kind of in a weird awkward position underneath the sink counter so I'm gonna go ahead and already loosen this and already pretty much pulled this out but you got to be careful there's probably some water there so to remember have a little bit of bucket and a towel because it's gonna get wet all right now I'm gonna undo this and uh, that should be the first part okay if yours is set up like mine you got this you just loosen it this is already undone you just simply should be able to pull this and free it up and there you go all done all right um, all I got to do is now here you go all I got to do now is uh, replace remove this and uh, I'm just gonna use a hammer because that's what I have and a crowbar and I'll try to do it on camera just to show you gonna be a little hard for me but I'll do my best I'm just trying to get it rotated but basically I'm trying to get right here and I'm trying to force this if I can see it on camera I'm maybe not explaining it right I'm trying to hit this part right here right here not not this part but this part and push it this way twisting it so I'm turning it that way all right I've loosened it just to show you here Okay, I've loosened it. It should be off. All I got to do is now lower the jack. All right, I'm going to lower the jack. And I just want to make sure that I got a good hold on it. But it's just going to lower a little bit because it should be out. Yeah, there it is. It's coming down. I'm just going to lower it so it's just a lot easier. There you go. Just lower it a little bit more, give me some room to take it out, clear it out. There it is. 
and then voila done okay so if you're wondering if I didn't push this little red button right here uh, I did I pushed that little red button um, I did notice er, me uh, I did notice that this is a little loose I can check for it but uh, I don't know if it's gonna do anything uh, we'll take a look on the inside of it and see how clean or dirty it was but before um, it was making a lot of weird noises it didn't sound right and this thing was very hot when I was running it turning on the garbage disposal so uh, let's let me see if I could just take this I might have to unscrew this to get to the electronic components but anyways you don't get a plug when you buy the syncinator so you probably have to reuse the one that you have all right I've opened that up here there's the ground probably one of your whatever hot and whatever else there's three wires uh, black and white um, looks like it's connected as I move it here see so um, it looks like it's connected and I did if you want to know I did I did push this red button before I bought a new syncinator and it still didn't work so um, probably it's probably dead all right so before I take this out uh, since this cord is both gray and I don't have a meter with me um, I'm gonna mark this as black because this came from the from the black wire and this one came from the white wire so uh, hopefully that will tell me the difference all right I'm gonna show you the what's on the inside I've taken the uh, this rubber piece off from the top let's have a look inside oh gross that is so gross there's some food in there because we've been using it, but uh, you can see how much it's rusted out. Maybe that's probably one of the reasons why. So uh, probably better to replace it than try to figure out how to repair it. Okay, let's open this up and see what it looks like. I'm sure it's pretty much the same. I hope it is. Let's see what you get on the inside here. Register today, sure. Instructions. Okay, I probably pretty much already have done this. Ooh, this top design is different. Or this could be just a... Oh, it's nothing. It's just the top part. Uh, the top part of the sink. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The top part of the sink, which is this, which I'm not going to replace. So, extra piece. All right, let's see what's in here. I, need, I just need the motor and the bottom part of it. Yeah, this pretty much looks like it. That's what it looks like. Looks like it comes with something, some tools, extra accessories, which um, I don't, I probably don't need. Um, I'll open this up right now. Well, oh, hold on, I'll open it up later. But that's what it looks like. Let's just pull it out. Ugh, it is heavy. And that's all that's in there so we can get rid of the box and I'm gonna compare it to the one I have hopefully it's the same so I don't have to do anything I just swap it out that's the bottom it looks the same uh, let's compare it okay I think they're pretty much identical twins so all I have to do is just simply swap it out thank God now the last time I did this, what I forgot to do mention is to there's this this is covered. You see that little piece right there? I'm sure you'd I'm sure you see it right right here inside. Uh, just take a screwdriver and knock that out, and then it'll come out of here. That way, that's for your dishwasher right there. So remember to punch a hole in that. Okay, let's see what's in the green bag. It's probably stuff I don't need but uh, I might just reuse what I already have here oh, sorry probably an adapter piece uh, this goes underneath uh, here what this let's see what this right here if it if your garbage disposal ever gets stuck you put it in here to turn it 
Okay. Uh, I probably have most of these pieces right here. I already have this piece. I'll probably reuse it. That's already underneath here. Uh, uh, spacer bar. Maybe a, a washer. I already have all these here. So I'm probably not going to use them. And no, that's, that's, that's all in the bag right there. So I'm probably going to most likely not use any of these. This, this this piece probably goes in right here, but I don't think I need it. Uh, don't have any, didn't need it last time. Anyways, uh, I probably won't be using any of these. These are all gonna be spare parts. So if you wanna know what's in the green bag, that's what's in here. So that's it. All right, so before I try to put everything back in, let me do the electrical part here. As you see, I marked this with black. Uh, this is what I got from the other part. This is came from the original from my original garbage disposal. So uh, this simply just will just screw, it just screws right in. That's all it does. So anyways, uh, let me feed it through and uh, I'll get it all set up. I'm trying to get this off so I can uh, get to the electrical here. Sometimes it helps to have uh, an impact uh, drill because ew, I was stripping the uh, felt like I was stripping it so sometimes you need some power tools all right so I got everything set up so I'm using the existing plug from the old garbage disposal this is how you have it set up and uh, green is ground this one I marked with a black marker for black and then the other ones white and I'll just go ahead and just use the existing wire nuts here and uh, put it all back together all right it looks all done let me just put everything back in and make it look nice and tidy and I should be able to put it back in all right there you go plug is ready so let me just put it back in and in reverse order everything should be good okay everything's uh back in the uh, tire jack or scissor jack whatever this is was very helpful it's kind of hard to hold up in a weird position but everything's finally in um, I connected this I used the same uh, what grommet or washer or whatever it was use the same everything I just put it back um, all I'm gonna do now is I, I plugged it in Let's see if it works. All right, let's see if it works. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Okay, all I'm gonna do is connect the uh, dishwasher hose. Uh, make sure you punch that open like I showed you and uh, everything should be back to normal. All right, well, that's that's it it's all done it works everything's a a-okay here please like share subscribe um super thanks are really greatly appreciated until next time i'll see you in the next video bye